came to Russia in 1994, and you have been living here ever since. What is it that you like the most about Russia? Russians. You know, it's, it's very simple. You know, the, the people are amazing. The relationships you have with people, they are uh, meaningful. They are deep. Uh, they are caring. Uh, they are unconditional. Yeah? So, so friendship in, in, in Russia is unconditional. In Russian, you have this term, radnoy, yeah? radnoy chilovek which is not uh, translatable in any other language. It means that you have a person who may not be um, a family. The closest probably would be the soulmate. But, uh, yeah, maybe soulmate no. or, or blood brother or whatever, mm-hmm. or blood sister. I don't, I don't know. But really, it's really the people, first of all. Second, um, you know, we were talking uh, just ago about this uh, young Russian generation that haven't known any hardship. Um, I was the same until I came to Russia, right? So when I was 23 and I came to Russia, I was uh, raised in very um, sheltered uh, conditions. And I never had known a crisis. I did, never know what, what it meant, uh, you know, that, that the shelves in the, in the stores are empty. I'd never seen devaluation of the, the Dutch guilder at that time. You know, I've, I've never seen any problems. Russia is a country where you never know what's going to happen next. Uh, it's a country where you always need to be alert. You always need to be on your toes. And in order to survive and thrive in this country, you need to really take the best out of yourself and you need to become the best person you can be. It is tough. Uh, it hasn't always been easy in Russia, uh, neither for Russians, but also not for me as a foreigner. You know, I've, I've lost everything several times, like many Russians. I've had to gain it back. And so on. I've been the victim of injustice. I've seen the inside of a Russian uh, police cell twice. I've had a lot of experience, but say if you're conscious of what's happening to you and if you make an effort in Russia to improve as a human being, then you have a much, much more growth potential than in the Netherlands, for example, or Western Europe. So one, the people, and second, the, the opportunities for personal growth in Russia, because of all the difficulties and the hardships, are much bigger than, uh, than, than in Western Europe, where, where I always say that life is so good in Western Europe that, that I call it the narcosis of wealth. Yeah? So people sort of fall asleep a little bit because everything goes well. You know, everything is the same. Nothing ever changes. Uh, we, we live comfortable lives in Western Europe. You know, it, it puts people to sleep a little bit. Mm-hmm. And in Russia, you can find these crazy people. You can find these very interesting characters. You can find these people who know everything about everything. And it makes life very interesting. And you've lived here for quite some time. Uh, you've been through different uh, times here, good times and bad times. So what do you think is the most difficult thing to adjust to, culturally or otherwise? But it's, it's you know, every foreigner here would, would, would probably have a different answer. Um, what I would like to see in Russia is that um, people take a little bit more care about uh, the other person. And, and again, this is coming back a little bit to what we spoke about earlier. You know, Russians are very responsible towards their close ones, towards the people inside their microcosmos. Uh, but outside, they don't really, they don't really care. Uh, and um, I think the country could make a huge step forward if people would just simply, you know, say, hello, good morning, how are you? Thank you, uh, please. You know, I still sort of continue to greet people on the street. I still uh, continue, you know, to, to say hello, thank you, how are you, to the shop lady. I still continue to greet people in my door, you know, in, my, in the courtyard of my building or in the pajest, in the, in the entry hall of the, of the building. You know, when these Russians have seen this crazy Dutchman greeting them all the time, at a certain moment, you know, they start to smile and they start to greet you back. Yeah, but it's, it's really an effort and it takes a while. Jeroen, thank you for giving your outlook and your thoughts and sharing your impressions uh, with me. Is there anything you would like to add? Thank you very much. I'm I'm very glad there are people like you who are trying to to open the window on Russia and uh, for Westerners and open the window uh, to the West for for Russians, because it's finally all about empathy, right? I mean, the, the moment we are ready to put ourselves in the position of the other side, that moment we will start to understand, accept and respect the other side. We don't need to agree with it, but just as long as we, you know, uh, position ourselves in the other shoes, uh, just as long as we make an effort to understand, accept and respect, then, you know, everything will uh, improve between, uh, between Russia and, uh, and, and the Western world. And you're playing a big role in that. So thank you very much. So do you. Thank you so much. I really, really enjoyed talking to you.